Let's talk about the sea lamprey. The sea lamprey, or Petromyzon marinus, is a parasitic jawless fish native to the Atlantic Ocean. But that's not an issue. Originally, Niagara Falls acted as a barrier between the lamprey and the Great Lakes of North America. But after the construction of man-made locks, the lamprey had access. So in the 1800s, the lamprey entered the Great Lakes. This presented a problem to the natural inhabitants of the lakes. Rapidly, the lamprey preyed on various large fish in the lakes. In our own Lake Superior, fish such as lake trout, lake whitefish, chub and lake herring have been prey for the parasite. What problems does this present? Well, these fish are predators to many smaller fish, and as we all know, the imbalance of an organism's respective food web place in their ecosystem can throw the whole thing off. So when these predators begin to be killed by the sea prey, the small fish populations, which are prey to the larger fish, increased rapidly. This provides for overpopulation of small fish, which can lead to a fight for food within the ecosystem among the involved organisms. One example of all of these circumstances is the relationship between the lake trout and antwife. Because the lake trout has no natural predators, it was at the top of the food chain, keeping small fish populations in check. One of the species that is prey to the trout is the invasive alewife. After the introduction of the sea lamprey, however, the lake trout population rapidly decreased. This led to the overpopulation of alewife. So, sea lamprey are a problem. They're hard to control, too. Between the fact that there's so many of them, and that they're reproducing all the time, it's not easy to make them all leave. Some efforts to control them include using electric currents, lamprecides, and barriers. Though these methods have worked, the sea lamprey is still out there.